The advanced information from OCR for their AS level chemistry specification has been out for a short while. This is all ahead of the summer 2022 exam series and this list of major topics in the breadth in chemistry and depth in chemistry papers is going to be incredibly useful for you ahead of the summer examination season. In this video, what I'm going to do is take you through what I've noticed about the list, linking it to the practical work I recommend you cover in your revision, but also discussing the kinds of things that aren't on the list and my advice surrounding how to use this carefully with a hefty pinch of salt ahead of the summer exams. So first thing I'd like to talk about is how this is a major topic list only. It's not an all topic list. So the content listed here, for example, in the breadth in chemistry paper is not going to be the only content that comes up. And what really makes me nervous here is the fact that you've got multiple choice in the breadth in chemistry paper. You've got quite a lot of them, in fact. Now, let's say, for example, that spectroscopy from module four comes up three times in the multiple choice, three challenging multiple choice questions. Well, that's still only three marks, isn't it? Out of the total 70. So that's not a great deal of presence. So please make sure that you don't underestimate the multiple choice section of the breadth in chemistry, but also things like flow chart diagrams when it comes to organic chemistry from module four. Because the other thing I've noticed is there isn't a lot of module four presence in this list, but it's very easy to assess alcohols, haloalkanes, carboxylic acids in lots of small ways using a flowchart style exam question structure. So what else have I noticed? Well, in both papers, both the breadth in chemistry and the, and the depth in chemistry, I've noticed a lot of emphasis here on amounts of substance and then acids with practical skills included. So what kinds of practicals are we looking at? Well, straight away, titrations or preparation of standard solutions. So this would be things like, can you read the burette if they give you a little snippet of it? Do you know what a table of results looks like? Can you use the ratio in a reaction equation to find out the moles of an unknown component? Can you describe in a level of response question how to prepare a standard solution? But also, not forgetting acid and carbonate and acid metal reactions. This could apply to both papers, remember, so do be careful. Don't just prepare ahead of the depth in chemistry because you can see acids in there. There's also things like heating to constant mass. So this would be waters of crystallization, for instance. That could certainly come up in this practical context associated to mole calculations. Here, we're generally thinking, what are all the different ways I can do mole calculations with acids and with other substances in a lab? How could that come up then in an exam? Have a look through the practical skills handbook on the OCR website for this. What else have I noticed? Well, when we go down the list, we get to this little orange highlighted section here on my version, which talks about module four. Now, they've definitely got near the top of the list here, the largest section of module four. It's the alkenes. You've got everything in here, not just reactions, but also things like electrophilic addition. So that's got Markovnikov's rule, for instance, as well about carbocation stability. And you've also got isomerism. Now, that's not just structural isomerism, that's stereoisomerism as well. So here with this section for module four, the highlighted orange section, please be careful when it comes to things like isomerism, intermolecular forces, mechanisms, as well as all of your reagents and conditions. Also make sure that you can name the functional groups, but that won't be a lot of marks. Moving back to the total list, purple section here periodicity, and then just below it, halogens. Now, do not underestimate periodicity. This includes things like ionization energies and structure and bonding features, particularly across period three. So please do not underestimate the periodicity section of this list. The halogen section as well, we've got here the ability of them to behave as oxidizing agents, as well as a potential link to the very next section of the spec in a small way, qualitative analysis, looking at precipitates, looking at colors. So make sure you consider that alongside the halogens in just as much detail. 
Bonding and structure isn't too surprising. Bonding and structure is a really broad section of the specification in module two. It's got loads of different things in it, like 3D molecular geometry. We've got intermolecular forces, the comparison of an ionic a giant ionic lattice structure to perhaps a simple molecular lattice structure. There's a lot to be said there, so it's not too surprising to see it quite high up on the list. What about enthalpy changes? Well, I did notice here for enthalpy changes, they've included practical skills. Now, straight away, that made me think of the calorimeter. Not saying it's guaranteed to be this context, but it did make me think of it. Now, here we could think of everything from table of results could be used, delta T from a graph could be requested, but also there's an excellent opportunity for them to try and link it to fuels using an enthalpy of combustion, for example. So don't underestimate there the role of the calorimeter in both papers, but particularly here, because I've noticed that includes practical skills section next to the enthalpy changes subsection. Moving on to the depth in chemistry. Now for the depth in chemistry, I've already mentioned the acids and amount of substance stuff, that's further up the page, but the rates of reaction section here is quite high up. Now here, there's really good potential for graph work. If you don't get a graph in the first paper, brace yourself for a graph for the second. Make sure you've got a pencil, rubber, and ruler, and also a pencil sharpener for the exam. Now here for rate of reaction, this could be drawing a tangent to a curve to look at rate. That could be for a reaction which forms a precipitate. It could be for a gas collection, mass loss over time. Really think about your continuous monitoring methods here for the rate of reaction topic. Chemical equilibrium, a bit further down the list, isn't too surprising. You've got quite a lot in the equilibrium topic, even though it's quite short. You've got shifts, industrial compromise, and KC. So just expect a general all-rounder question there for equilibrium. As long as you revise it in detail, you'll be all right. Group two. Now, group two, don't underestimate it. Much like periodicity and the halogens and qualitative analysis from module three, do not underestimate group two. There's a lot of potential crossover with things like electron configuration and atomic structure here. So please be careful with group two. Enthalpy changes comes up again in the depth in chemistry paper, and it doesn't say in practical contexts here, but please still be careful with that calorimeter. Here we can see I'm giving the opportunity for this section of our list to remind you about um, Hess cycles, bond enthalpy, so like bonds broken minus bonds made. We've got enthalpy profile diagrams, excellent way for the examiner to test your precision here. So please be careful with those contexts. The final thing on the list is not too surprising, it's alkanes. And it just reminds me that there's very little presence of module four in a major way on this list. The alkanes could be anything from radical substitution to consideration of boiling point, which is affected by the branching. Please be careful when it comes to alkanes because they can do quite a big question and link it to things like the bonding topic. They could link it to enthalpy. There's a lot of opportunity here for crossover. And I would remind you about that for all of these topics. Expect crossover. You're not going to get entirely all the way through the paper questions that focus on one thing at a time. So please be very careful with the list. And a final reminder that module four can be assessed in a lot of small minor ways using flow charts and in the breadth in chemistry paper, multiple choice questions. I'm going to put a copy of my annotated version of this list in the video description, along with a copy of OCR's blank version. I don't know about you, but I've noticed that I can't access it on my iPad. I can't access it on my iPhone because it doesn't let me get the drop down menu. So I'll put a copy from um, my shared drive in there so that you can access this. If you did find this list helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go so that YouTube knows I still exist. And until next time, happy revising.